Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about the increased life-threatening risks of COVID-19 and preeclampsia. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a nurse practitioner and I have over 12 years nursing experience working in mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC. I'm maternal newborn nursing certified, and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as well as perinatal bereavement. COVID-19 is a serious illness that has been hospitalizing and unfortunately even killing pregnant women. Multiple studies are now coming out showing some of the increased risks pregnant women face when contracting COVID-19. Let's explore links found between COVID-19 and developing preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is also called toxemia. This is a condition that is usually diagnosed after you've reached your 20th week of pregnancy. Up until the diagnosis is made, women will usually have experienced normal blood pressure readings. Preeclampsia is when a woman's blood pressure is very high and it can lead to organ failure, usually in the liver and kidneys. The cause is believed to be caused by the improper functioning of placental blood vessels. The development of the abnormal blood vessels may be caused by an issue with your immune system, genetic problems, damage to your blood vessels, or not enough blood flow to your uterus. Improper functioning of the placenta can lead to growth and development issues in your baby, and uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to seizures in you. The American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology completed a huge analysis this month looking at 26 studies over 18 countries involving COVID-19 and pregnant women. The studies included almost 800,000 women in which 15,524 were diagnosed with SARS-CoV-2 or the COVID-19 virus. The goal was to compare women who had had COVID-19 and women who had not to see if there were any increased risks for pregnant women who contracted the COVID-19 infection. Among numerous increased risks identified, there was found to be a significantly increased risk of developing preeclampsia when a pregnant woman contracted COVID-19 during pregnancy. Preeclampsia on its own is life-threatening to both mom and baby and can lead to the development of eclampsia and HELP syndrome, which are also life-threatening. 15% of premature births are attributed to preeclampsia and they can lead to significant neonatal morbidity and mortality. Additionally, studies have shown that the maternal death rate from preeclampsia is about 6.4 per 10,000 deliveries and the stillbirth rate is about 5.2 per 1,000 deliveries. COVID-19 causes a two-fold increase in both of these numbers. COVID-19 infection has been shown to cause the same endothelial damage, placental oxidative stress, thrombocytopenia, and hepatic injury that preeclampsia does, which accounts for the increased risk. Endothelial damage means damage to your blood vessel walls, which can impair blood flow throughout your body, including to your baby. Placental oxidative stress starts when there is a lack of oxygen flowing to the placenta. This causes damage, which affects how well the placenta works for your baby and can lead to poor growth and development. Thrombocytopenia is when you don't have enough platelets, which are the part of your blood that stops you from bleeding when you are cut thus increasing your risk of hemorrhage. Hepatic damage is damage to your liver which can cause cholestasis of pregnancy, a condition that can lead to liver damage in your baby and may cause fetal distress or stillbirth. All of these factors noted in the study led to more severe outcomes for women with COVID-19 and preeclampsia. The hallmark sign of preeclampsia is high blood pressure, but there are many signs and symptoms to look out for. These include severe headaches, changes in your vision, including blurred vision, spots or floaters, light sensitivity, and even temporary loss of vision, upper abdominal pain, usually on the right side under your ribs, nausea and vomiting, decreased urine output, 
protein being found in your urine when tested, kidney function tests being abnormal, liver function tests and liver enzymes being abnormal, sudden weight gain, sudden swelling in the arms, legs, and face, and shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Any woman experiencing severe headache, changes in vision, sudden swelling, or upper abdominal pain should contact their healthcare provider immediately for further evaluation. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about prevention of preeclampsia. Unfortunately, there are no definitive strategies that have been identified to prevent preeclampsia. Studies have looked into the use of vitamin C, E, and fish oil, finding no reduction in risk by using these supplements. Also, eating a diet low in salt, restriction of calories, or eating a diet high in garlic have failed to provide risk reduction. Studies have linked preeclampsia with low levels of vitamin D, and while supplementing with vitamin D in some studies has shown risk reduction, other studies have not provided the same results. It should be noted that there are studies showing higher adverse outcomes from COVID-19 when a person has lower vitamin D levels. Two strategies which may show reduced risk for preeclampsia include the use of aspirin and calcium. However, these must be done under the supervision of a healthcare provider because there are also risks if used improperly. Starting your pregnancy at a healthy weight with a healthy diet and exercise plan in place is your best strategy for the avoidance of preeclampsia. To prevent COVID-19 in pregnancy, you should start by getting vaccinated. Since the vaccines have been introduced, women have been getting pregnant, both purposely and not purposely. To date, no adverse events have been reported. Breastfeeding while receiving the vaccine also has no negative outcomes reported. Given the increased risk to pregnant women, the Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, is now recommending all pregnant women receive the COVID-19 vaccine to prevent contracting the disease, as well as to reduce symptoms and potential hospitalizations if an infection occurs. Studies have also revealed no effects to a woman's fertility and no increased chances of developing blood clots after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine as compared with the general population. Please speak to your healthcare provider if you have any questions or concerns about receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Other strategies to prevent contracting COVID-19 include wearing a mask at all times in public, staying six feet away from people who do not live in your home, washing your hands often, avoiding crowded places, and avoiding others who are sick, even if they have a negative COVID-19 result. Finally, pregnancy is a time for one of life's biggest parties, a baby shower. When celebrating your baby shower, choose a well-ventilated private setting, such as someone's backyard. Studies have shown the more ventilated an area is, the lower chances of COVID-19 transmission, especially when utilizing vaccines and other measures such as mask use. Both COVID-19 and preeclampsia are serious life-threatening conditions that should be avoided. I hope this has explained why it's so important to keep yourself safe through vaccination and mitigation strategies so you don't develop preeclampsia due to COVID-19 infection. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at The Maternity Mentor.